Well, uh, and again, it's very important to follow manufacturer's instructions to use these disinfectants and autoclaves exactly as specified. The other question I want to talk about is uh, uh, one that uh, I thought was a really timely one, uh, or I, sh I should say this way, something that a lot of people would be interested in. Uh, this nail, pe nail professional on Facebook said, Doug, why don't you explain uh, the, about shelf life for products? Because not everyone understands that, and there's a lot of confusion there as well. So I thought, well, that's really true. Uh, that's a place that uh, I should spend a little moment talking to you about. Do cosmetic products have shelf life? Well, of course they do. Uh, typically, a cosmetic product is going to have at least one year shelf life. Some longer, some shorter, depending on the on the nature of the product itself. An example of a product that has some shorter shelf life would be a nail glue. Nail glues uh, can harden in their tubes after six months, uh, depending on how they're stored. They're stored in a warm location in the sunlight. That's going to accelerate the the loss of their shelf life, so they'll harden more quickly. Uh, but if they're stored in a proper location, a cool, dry location, uh, out of direct sunlight, especially out of direct sunlight and away from any sources of heat, uh, that's going to keep the product in a condition where it's not going to age rapidly and you'll extend the shelf life. So it's important to look at how you're storing your products and it's important to understand that if they're in your window, that's going to cause the shelf life to be shortened. Um, now, there are some products that have uh, longer shelf lives. Uh, artificial nail powder is an example. They can have shelf lives up to three years if properly stored. Nail monomers themselves and UV gels typically have at least a year, sometimes a, a year and a half shelf life, maybe more depending on the manufacturer of the formula and again how they're stored. Uh, you can look on the bottle, there'll be something called a batch code, which is usually either etched into the bottle or the container or inked on. If you take that number down and call the company, give them that number, they can tell you when that product was made which is important because sometimes if you're buying in bulk you may buy a six month supply thinking we have a year shelf life but that product might have uh, sat in the warehouse for six months before you purchase it so you might only have a six month shelf life to keep when that product is going to be at its ultimate freshness so make sure if you are buying a bulk which I recommend I think buying a bulk is a great way to save money uh, and, and nail professionals can certainly benefit from this but if you are going to buy in bulk, I recommend you don't buy more than six months worth of product. And when you get new product in, use the old product at first before you start using your new product. Uh, that's a, just a rotation of, of your stock is a great way to ensure freshness. Uh, you can't always look at a product and tell whether it's lost its shelf life, but sometimes you can. Uh, I gave an example before of the nail glue hardening in the container. Uh, monomers themselves can also begin to gel up inside the container or become, uh, or, or maybe uh, not, not set up as quickly. Uh, use the powder, they don't set up properly. Uh, that would be another example of, a, of, a, of something that could happen as a shelf life is lost. Uh, lotions, uh, hand lotions, creams can separate into two phases uh, or develop a strange odor. Nail polish can fade or shift in colors or it might become clumpy and difficult to apply. Uh, so when you start seeing these kind of symptoms or the product's not actually working in the, the manner that it was designed, you might want to suspect that maybe it's not been properly stored and you can talk to the manufacturer and get more information, as I said, by providing the batch code or the uh, on the bottle or somewhere on the package for them to do that research for you.